Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on January 1st, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. We did have quite a few events to talk about, especially the X-Class Solar Flare and two more large M-Class solar flares since last night's report. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, this is where we saw a plasma filament slap into the sun, and then another one lift away. Large CME is on its way. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. More plasma filaments in, in action here. Amazing images and a very busy sun so far for 2024. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Lots of antipode reactions here. Southwest, northeast, and then active sunspot region turning in. And big coronal hole turning away. A couple more developing southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere. Having a look at 171 angstroms, this is where we can really see the heliosphere in action. The umbral fields of all of the sunspot regions. Right now, we have five sunspot regions that are Earth-facing. And a big sunspot group turning in right now. Having a closer look at sunspot regions turning in. And as well, notable fast-forming sunspot there at the equator. The current space weather conditions, we are under level one minor radio blackout impacts expected. Solar winds are coming in at 362 kilometers per second right now. A solar X-ray flux, as you can see, that very large spike yesterday from the X-class. But then a couple more today, moderate M-class and a large M-class solar flare. And a couple more C-class as well. Solar proton flux jumping up and geomagnetic activity hopping up to a KP3. Expected minor auroras tonight from the geomagnetic activity. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, showing their space weather spiral, a large CME taking off towards Earth. And it looks like it is going to give us a glancing blow in the future here. Putting these into motion. Looks like it kind of split. But definitely looking at an impact January 3rd and 4th. From that large CME. Amazing images here. Shared with NASA. Brought to you by DailyEventsWorldwide.com. Expected arrival, actually, no, this, uh, January 2nd. So tomorrow night is expected impact. Looking at ISWA space prediction spiral, a very fast moving CME. Almost looks cannibalistic the way it took off from the sun. Luckily, that was not an Earth facing direction. Having a look at the Aurora forecast for tonight, northern and southern hemisphere. Not too much to talk about except for parts of eastern or sorry, western Russia and eastern Europe. Lasco 3, big wide spectrum here, showing the last 48 hours of events taking off from our sun. Big CME coming from the X and M class solar flares. And that is right there. Lots of energy taken off from our sun. Now let's get to earthquakes here. For the past 24 hours, we did start out the new year with a large 7.5 earthquake in Japan. That's right, on land, very shallow earthquake. Thousands, if not millions, feeling that large earthquake across Japan. As well, a notable earthquake there, 4.6 Japan, Mariana's Trench. Two very deep earthquakes here, Fiji Islands. 5.4 earthquake there, Gorontolo 
Indonesia, 4.6 up into Myanmar, quiet across the African plate, quiet across the South American plate, minor activity through the Caribbean, notable earthquake here off the coast of California, Petals Verdes, California 4.1 earthquake. That's right, right off the coast of Los Angeles, as well as 3.3 there west, Yellowstone, Montana. But no major swarms to talk about right now. We're sitting at about 230 earthquakes, 24-hour period. Most of them have been over in Japan as they have seen dozens of aftershocks after that large 7.3 earthquake. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Not everybody gets to see this, and I appreciate you all for watching today, pressing play, and inviting me into your living rooms or wherever you're watching from. Much love and all the best in the new year. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. Heads up, we've seen a lot of deep earthquakes. Japan, Fiji, and as well as South American plate. Way too quiet across North American plate and way too quiet through Africa. Notable activity all across the Rick James Ridge north towards Valbard. Much love, everybody, and thank you for watching. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery, and as well pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated, looking at Ibu in Indonesia, Swiss and Najima in Japan, Sangay in Ecuador, Santa Maria, Guatemala, Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia, Reventador in Ecuador, Lua, Lua Tobi, Indonesia, lots of hazards here, 203 of them, Popocatetl in Mexico, Fuego in Guatemala, Dacono in Indonesia, Samaru, Indonesia, and Kluchevskoy, Russia. Tsunami watches and warnings across the Pacific Ocean, but a tsunami was not imminent. Some of the local regions did report meter high waves. Having a look at satellite imagery, long line of moisture scooting across the North Atlantic right now, being ushered by a very large and vigorous low pressure system that just left the Atlantic provinces. We've also got a strong low moving into the Los Angeles region as we speak. That is set to bring some extreme weather in the long range towards the Gulf of Mexico. Overlooking Australia, the West Pacific. Lingering systems across Australia. Multiple flood watches and warnings going out. Overlooking the rest of the world here, we do have one tropical system. Tropical cyclone Alvaro is alive and is set it's already gone well yeah it's forecast here to go straight across madagascar as a category one cyclone that's the last two days of imagery here satellite showing moisture we're also going to share the so2 models as we have quite a big plume scooting across north america right now and as well big plumes coming out of mexico guatemala and uh, Peru. SO2, sulfur dioxide emissions, come from our volcanoes. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Eastern Russia, and Indonesia region. You can see multiple eruptions coming off of Kamchatka and as well Aoba volcano towards New Caledonia. And then air quality overlooking Europe and Africa. Two volcanoes in the middle of Africa. Big SO2 plumes and as well. Interesting SO2 plumes coming out of the North Atlantic. Scooting into the Mediterranean this week. Speaking of which, some big systems here rolling through all of Europe this week. And as well, the cold temperatures will be moving in behind that. So watch for quite possibly your first significant snowfall. 
from this system here coming through the Mediterranean, central regions, and east, eastern Europe. But then the systems continue on around the world. And a big low here develops in the long range in the North Atlantic. Overlooking North America, South America. South America, daily evaporation rains, nothing peculiar to post. But a low pressure system here developing for Wednesday in the Gulf states. And then watch for that to give Newfoundland a little taste in the long range. And then long range, pretty big and vigorous system here developing for eastern United States and maritime provinces. And then an even bigger system here developing in the long range. And this will be our first significant snowstorm as we have an Alberta clipper and as well a Colorado low moving in to join forces this week. Or sorry, in the long range, 9th into the 10th. Right there, watch for strong winds and some very cold conditions as a polar vortex is really setting up and swinging around. Overlooking North Pacific here, systems coming into BC and Alaska, and as well a small one spawning towards California, but then long range forecast, big systems here coming up into the Bering Strait and affecting Kamchatka, and an even stronger system there in the North Pacific. So strange days ahead of us. I've been posting about it every day as much as I can, and I want to thank you all for subscribing and following along with daily events worldwide. Much love to you all. It's all about staying aware and prepared. Multiple systems here, North Indian Ocean, and as well, multiple stagnant low-pressure systems all hanging around the continent of Australia. So multiple flood watches and warnings towards the Northern Territory mostly and Brisbane, and I wanted to share here, here with you the upper level winds. These are top level winds. This is where they're spinning the fastest. And this is where we can see our polar vortex as it has split now. We were showing an oblonged one just a few days ago. And now it has split. And we're going to watch things really change as you're going to see these low pressure spins fuel a lot of cold air into all of North America towards the new year or for the start of the, start of the new year. Just some very peculiar wind patterns right now. This is for winter 2023 or 2024. Let's go back a year at this time. And this was the shape of it. It looks normal. It kind of looks like it's spinning around the North Pole where it should be. But then 2024... 2023 and a very big difference between 2024 and 2023 and I've gone back as far as 2015 when this started and I've never seen it look like this so strange days ahead and I'm so happy that I created this channel to share all this information with you so thanks for watching stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.